Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to learn about standard functions. Standard functions is nothing but predefined functions. C provides rich collection of standard functions. So these predefined functions are already defined and so these functions we are going to use in our programs. To use these functions, we are going to include the headers at the top of the program. What it means? So for example, if you want to use any string handling functions, you are going to use the header string.h in your program. Hash include string.h. If you use any mathematical functions in your program, then you are going to include math.h. Math.h. If you are using any standard library functions, then you are going to use std library.h. std lib.h. Okay, that means to use these functions, we are going to include the header files at the top of the program. So now we see some of the standard functions. One is abs. It returns the absolute value of a number. So that means if you give negative number, then also it returns the positive number only. So abc of minus 10. Now this abc function returns 10 as output. If you give positive number abc of 10, then also it returns the absolute value 10 only. Okay, next function seal. A ceiling is the smallest integral value, so greater than or equals to a number. Ceiling is nothing but, for example, 1.5. 1.5. So ceiling is nothing but 2. 2.0 is the output. Here, seal 1.2. For 1.2, the ceiling is 2.0. Similarly, seal 1.6. For this also, it returns 2.0 as the output. So next one, floor. A floor is the largest integral value that is equals to or less than a number. Okay, if I give floor 1.2, for 1.2, the floor is 1.0. If I give floor 1.0, then also it returns 1.0 as a output. Similarly, floor 1.6, for 1.6, the floor is 1.0 only. If I use C, 1.6, then it is 2.0. Okay, so next one, truncate. It returns the integral in the direction of 0. In the direction of 0. That means if I give 1.0, it truncate this and 1.0, it returns. If I give 1.6, then also it truncate 6 and it returns 1.0 as a output. Similarly, round function. It returns the nearest integral value. So nearest integral value for Round 1.2, the nearest is 1.0. For round 1.6, the nearest is 2.0. Okay. So next one, power. It returns the value of the x raised to the power of y. That is x power y. That means power of 2 comma 5, it returns 2 power 5. Okay. SQRT, it returns square root of a number. So SQRT 25, now it returns 5. So now we see standard functions. In this example, we are taking that a, b, c value. a value equals to minus 10, b equals to 1.2, c equals to 1.6. a, b, c of 10. Absolute value means it returns only positive value. So output is 10. So c, b is nothing but it returns 2 as output. For 1.6 also, it returns 2 as a output. So floor b, floor c. It returns 1. 1 as a output. Truncate. It truncates the decimal point. For 1.2 it returns 1. For 1.6 also it returns 1. So round beam is nothing but so 1.2. So it is rounded to the nearest integer 1. So 1.6 is nothing but the nearest is 2.0. So round C means it returns 2. So power of 2 comma 5 it returns 2 power 5. So it returns 32. Square root of 25, it returns 5. 